Well, hello, everybody. We've got some really exciting news for you today, haven't we? Yeah. We have. We're about a year or so into ASIC account. In fact, we're not even a year yet, are we? No, I think, when did we go first, uh, our first live? Was it October last year? Yeah, producer Lizzie keeps reminding, October last year. We're nine months in. Nine months in. People Looking would have had a baby by now. People normally, and, and our baby's now. Our baby's born. Yeah, our baby. So me and Johan, over a beer, had an idea in 2020, at Countess 2022, saying we want to start a brand new podcast, didn't we? We did. We said, we talk a lot of stuff. Some of it's rubbish, but yep. some of it's really good stuff. Uh, we enjoy chatting stuff through regularly, and it only felt right that we shared that with the world. Um, so yeah, that fateful evening, May 2022, yep. at Accountex, we said, let's do it. At the Fox. At the Fox, outside the Fox, enjoying a lovely summer's evening. Um, we, we sat there, didn't we, and said, no, let's do it. Let's do this. Let's create something new and different because we didn't feel that what we wanted to do was something that was available on the podcast world in the accounting world of the UK anyway. Exactly. And we took that concept and we have been live every single Monday morning at 8.30, but a couple of times we went on a Wednesday instead, but majority of the time we've been live every single Monday morning, making sure that we can give the content that we believe is relevant to that week. Yeah. And I think that's the key there though, isn't it? Is that consistency? Yeah. We said we will be live every week. And nine out of ten times, we will do it every Monday morning at 8.30. Exactly. And we've not not gone live. No, no. You know, bank holidays around Christmas, we were live to the nation. Um, I think that's been a huge, hugely important part of what we're doing compared to other podcasts that I've seen come and go in the industry where they just do one season of 12 weeks or... They do one season of 12 episodes, all filmed in one day and then released. Or they try to nude news, but they don't con do it yep. consistently yep. enough. And d viewers and listeners drop off, don't they? Exactly. So, you know, and everyone you, you listen to on YouTube. Yeah. Consistency, consistency, consistency. If you deliver a video every Wednesday, you will grow a following. Exactly. And that's what we've done. We've made sure we delivered that piece of content every single Monday. And we brought some other aspects to our account as well, haven't we? Oh, it's, it's grown. Born, yeah. We've it's grown born, legs from where we were. Exactly. We've born brand new initiative and ideas. So we have We Have Cool Friends that has been Which, a hit with everyone who listens to it. They love the idea that we're letting the rest of the industry know about the cool friends that we've been holding to yeah. ourselves, right? And we've done it in a very specific way. And we were just discussing a couple of weeks ago in our, one of our live episodes, uh, the... The fact that we've we've really having been to other people's podcasts recently, yeah, we feel like we've really nailed that cool friends bit, haven't we? Like, it is three or four friends sat around a table, like we are here today, in a pub, having a drink, alcoholic or soft drink, is perfectly fine, but it is three or four friends, yeah, having a chat about things that interest them in their in their workplace, yeah their industry whatever it is and we're then sharing those insights with all of our friends and followers yeah exactly. and i don't think anyone else does anything like that really yeah. no and and i think what we've done is we've let that person shine and we've made sure that we, we've justified it's why been the we them class, show yeah why we class them as a cool friend yes and we've also launched the initiative of well unparalleled access to events so we've got the grid walks, we've, we've got grid our walks. reviews, we've got our content while we're there, we do live streaming there and then, we do social media takeovers. So I feel like that first year, it's gone pretty well, don't you think? Oh yeah, that's right. What did we say a year ago? We said, we want to do a podcast every week. Yeah. What was the goal of that podcast? It was for something for us to enjoy and be able to share our thoughts with the world yep. on a platform, which can be quite difficult to do in the modern social world we have. And for it to get us access to potentially a couple of speaking slots yep. or presentation slots or something at accounting events. Exactly. So we ought to go through the tally. Yeah. Have we met that goal? Because we're always saying to business yeah. owners, yeah. goals and it, objectives, it you've got to meet them. Yeah, yeah, you've got to be accountable. Where do we start? <laughs> well, I think as straight away, we wanted to make sure we spoke at as many events as we can do. So we've had QuickBooks Connect. Yep. Tick. Accountex. Tick. This is the Accountex show. Tick. Accountex North. Tick. Soon to be announced. <laughs> TBC. Yeah. <laughs> but 
we've got some really exciting plans for Accountex North, but Accountex themselves are, are on board yeah. and really behind us on that, which is really nice to have. Yeah. That's all the big events for this year. Done. Yeah. Accounting Web Live has been postponed till next year. ZeroCon didn't exist this year. Yeah. That, that's it. That was all the big events. Achieved. And we were at every single one. Yeah. We were podcasting. We were doing the new grid walk, which yeah. is by far one of my favorite things that we've ever created. Yeah. Like to, yeah. To be able to take our passion for F1 and put that into our work, that's incredible. Exactly. Um, and what's really exciting about the grid walk part is the conference providers have got behind it, exactly. given us early doors access so we can do it because they see the value of the FOMO that we're creating that that looks really cool. I'm going to make sure I go yeah. there next year yeah, yeah, yeah. type thing. You know, we've done the social media takeover for QuickBooks at Accountex. Yep. Yep. Um, we did a live podcast from Digital Accountancy Show. Yeah. But we have ticked a lot of boxes, more boxes than you and I could have ever created exactly. in that first at year. The time. Exactly. And it was all thanks to you guys. Like each and every one of you has watched every single Monday, or you've just caught us on a cat we have called friends, or you've just found us for the first time. It's thanks to you that we've got these opportunities. But it doesn't stop there, does it? No. We have some big announcements to make, and that's what this video is all about. So let's start with the really exciting news that we've got ourselves a little sponsor. And anyone who is keen eyed of you is actually watching this video can probably tell who the sponsor is. It's not oh, Brewdog. No, no. <laughs> it's employment here. And we couldn't be happier, right? No. Like, if we could have had that same checklist of keeping ourselves accountable for what our type of sponsor is going to be, they tick all the boxes. We have been asked before and we've turned other people away. Yeah. So why did we choose well, a, a employment area? Sponsorship was never really what we were after, was it? No. We weren't interested in sponsorship. You and I do this off our own backs. Yeah. We do the, every Monday morning because we're passionate about our industry and we want other people to see the opportunities that the modern accounting industry and bookkeeping industry has to offer. Yeah. So we cover the news, we cover the tech, etc. We film stuff like this in events like this because we are passionate about, we enjoy a good beer. Like, yeah. you know, we are not the, uh, on the bandwagon of we gave up alcohol, we're feeling better for it, we go to the gym every day, we get up at 4 a.m. every day. We enjoy a good beer. Yeah. And that's why we always film in Brewdog, because we enjoy their beer. But we also enjoy our tech, don't we? Exactly. So, you know, we spend small fortunes on sound, lighting, equipment, and cameras and stuff. Which then means we're actually indulging in a passion by filming all of this. Um, so yeah, that was they were the goals, weren't they? They were. Sponsorship they were. was never part of the deal. Uh, it was never the objective. And that's why we turned some people away. And, and we've then turned people away who their tools didn't suit us as our own individual practices. Yeah. We didn't feel like we could be sponsored by something we didn't use ourselves. Yeah. We didn't feel we could be sponsored by software that didn't embrace the cloud in the true meaningful way or that we have other interests so like I'm with Client Engager I've got yeah. interests in Client Engager so another practice management software offering us sponsorship was a conflict of interest and ultimately we've got a few ethics and uh, morals that you and I won't cross exactly right exactly you right. know um, so yeah other people have offered because they've seen the audience we're building yeah. they see the type of things we're talking about and, and those other people who've offered didn't get our content. Yep. They didn't give us the opportunity to be a little bit different with it. Like the idea that we've got today for a little bit of content we're filming today, I don't think the others would have understood that and understand the relevance. But no. with these guys, they get it straight away, don't they? They were very, some of those softwares that came to us and, and companies that came to they us and offered it. sponsorship, they were kind of cluster bombing everyone. They were just going, all accounting podcasts yeah. in the UK, we'll offer you all sponsorship. It's actually, yeah, we want to be, we're unique, we feel, yeah. in what we do and how we do yeah. it. And we wanted to maintain that, even if we had a sponsorship. Um, and we were also very clear when we first got that first offer of actually, we don't want that sponsorship to have any say on the content and the opinions that we voice in our content. Yeah. And, you know, a lot of people have said to us, oh, why don't you get QuickBooks to sponsor you? And yes, we do a lot of work with QuickBooks yeah. and we both love QuickBooks. But actually the legal and the PR team behind QuickBooks makes it quite challenging for us to voice all of our own opinions yeah. Yeah. and to be truly 
critical when yeah. we need to be yeah. about products, software, services. You know, and that was another reason we didn't accept some of the offers we've had. Uh, to be clear, QuickBooks haven't offered a sponsorship <laughs> at all, but others have, and we didn't feel we had the, enough room in those agreements yes. to maintain our sense of truth um, in what we were delivering. Definitely. Um, whereas Employment Hero have very much come to us and said, look, we love what you guys are doing. Yeah. We're not even going to tell you what we want you to create for us. We just want to sponsor you. We want you to come back to us with what you think you would like to give us for a lump sum of money. Yeah. And in return, we will help fund that content creation, etc. Exactly. And I think the important thing to note for you guys is that actually nothing's going to change for what we've already done. We're yep. going to continue to maintain that schedule, continue to maintain what we've already built, but with more coming as well. And that's the exciting bit, right? With this extra avenue with this extra support we can now go and do things we weren't able to do before and I feel like that's where we've got the exciting thing so do you want to tell everyone there is some of those exciting so things? much more content we're going to be able to create off the back of this now ultimately every time we went to an accounting conference to take we had to take time out of our own businesses yep it was very much a off our, off our own back etc we had to cover all our expenses and we did it for the passion yeah Things cost money. Yeah. Passion can't always buy everything. It certainly helps, <laughs> but it can't buy everything. So the fact that we've now got the sponsorship in line and sorted out, it means we can get new t-shirts. Yes. A new gile. Um, so our clothing printer is happier. <laughs> uh, and can get paid for it for the first time. And can get paid for it for the first time because all of our Astley Accountant stuff has been donated yeah. to us in the yeah. past by our clothing printer. Um, but yeah, on top of that, you know, we've got plans to go to Accountex North, where we're going to do another grid walk. We've got social media takeover. We've got plans that we're discussing with Accountant Accountex North about a live podcast session all yep. day, every day. Yep. We've got some case studies we want to do about Employment Hero because part of the reason we've taken the Employment Hero sponsorship is because you and I both use it in our firms exactly, day right. to day. Yeah. Yeah. And we encourage and promote it to our clients. And we I've been a what is now employment here, it used to be called KeyPay. I've been using KeyPay since it came to the UK twenty nineteen, I think. And yeah, like it is a fundamental piece of my software that actually it's one of the softwares I've never looked to replace. No, no. no one's ever ever mentioned anything that makes me go Oh, maybe I want to look into that. Maybe yeah. I, that's an upgrade. That's a feature paper. I don't have. Yeah. No, no, no don't exactly. ever get that. Exactly. Um, so the fact that you and I know this software inside out, we've not got to go and learn any of it to be able to give an opinion on it. Yep. And actually, it's software you and I have endorsed and promoted long, long before any of this sponsorship anywhere came up. Exactly. So I've been singing its praises for years. You've been using it for a couple of years and you love it. Yeah. Like, and you encourage your clients to go on it, exactly. et cetera, as well. So, yeah, I think it's going to create, we're going to have more content, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, which will be ad hoc. It won't necessarily be tied into a weekly show or anything. Yeah. But more content, which is always good, more opportunities for everyone. Um, and the fact that we can just deliver that with a bit of backing. Is, means we can spend more time doing it and we can get it edited better and yeah, spend exactly. more time on the sound and production of it all as well. Yeah. Get some of those bigger name guests that haven't been able to get before. Yes. Like, that's what this is opening up for us. We're getting an opportunity to be bigger than what we were and that's a good thing for everybody. So I think we've kind of covered what it is, the announcement, the big announcement of the fact that we are now sponsored. Get the side right. Come on. I'm <laughs> here, right? So, we couldn't be happier. This is the start. We know that there's still so much more we can take with this, but we just again want to thank each and every one of you for coming along. There is a bit of a, if you've made it this far, there's a bit of a plead for everyone. If you can go over and go and like our LinkedIn page for Ask the Accountant, it's yep. going to help us go forward. We want to get some more live content on there. At the moment, we've got to get a certain number of criteria to there. And we've just launched a YouTube channel, which was one of the things we've used our sponsorship um, funds to do. So. 
if you can as well, please go and like the YouTube channel as well. Like and subscribe. That's the way. But I think that's it. I think all we've got left to do now is cheers for the first nine, nine months. months. It's, you know, we're saying this is our first year, but the first nine months of um, Acid Counter, it's all been thanks to you guys. And we hope you will continue joining us on our journey as we go and find out what else we can do cool within the world of accountancy. Cheers, Cheers. John.